Hello everybody, welcome to Blue Marble Science. Does Earth curvature in these two pictures look the same to you? Well, Dan the Waterman thinks so. Warning, severe facial and monitor damage alert is in effect. Get out those oven mitts, push the monitors back out of punching range, and let's light this dumpster fire and have some fun. This is live right now, and uh, this is off of uh, Jeff Bezos' uh, Virgin Galactic. You seem to be a little confused there, Dan. Jeff Bezos is the founder and executive chairman of Amazon. Virgin Galactic is Richard Branson. They're not the same guy. You can see the curvature of the Earth here at the top. And the funny part is over here, this is, you know, this is uh, some 56 miles up, and this is 270 miles up on the space station here. You can see it's measured here in the altitude of 425. It's 260 miles up, 265 miles up. Either way, really surprisingly, oh, just went out of frame there. So I'm going to go back. Surprisingly, damned if that curvature doesn't look exactly the same. So we got this at uh, this height. We're looking at here only 56 miles. And then over here, this is 265 miles, but damned if it doesn't look the same. Kind of weird how they could look the same at these different heights. Again, you can see the height claim here. And of course, they usually claim this is live. I'm sure it's not. Uh, if I go forward, well, it'll make a live claim, whatever they're showing right this minute. As you know, that they always run lots of tapes uh, because they can't show transitions from day to night. Oh, yeah, they can't manage to show the transition from day to night, can they? Oh, look, there goes the moon. Uh-oh. Leaving nighttime. Coming into daytime. What do you think about that, Dan? Nighttime. Daytime! Nighttime. Daytime! So this supposedly is live, current ISS doesn't say live I just want you to see the inconsistencies as you scroll around you'll see the different imagery and the different speeds but clearly uh, something's wrong here oh yeah something's wrong all right and if you don't pull your head out of there it's gonna get stuck when you start looking at the shape being the same uh, at completely different heights you gotta wonder what's going on you really do so you think the curvature in these two pictures looks the same, huh, Dan? Well, let's draw a pretty red line on this one over here like that. And then let's copy that line and put it over on the other picture and see if they match. That doesn't seem to match too well, does it, Dan? Tell you what. Let's blow up a little section about like that. And let's put it over here superimposed on top of the first picture. Wow, that's a lot of difference, Dan. Doesn't look the same at all now, does it? Now, I want you to keep something in mind. That even though Spaceship 2 is at 50 miles and the ISS on the right is at 250 miles, the distance to the horizon is not a linear function. Let's pull up an earth curve calculator. From 50 miles, the horizon is 631 miles away. From the ISS altitude of 250 miles, the distance to the horizon is 1,429 miles. So while the ISS is five times as high as Spaceship 2, the horizon is only 2.3 times as far away. And that would seem to match pretty well with the pictures we just looked at. But while we're on the topic, let me leave you with this thought. That top picture is when Spaceship 2 is still attached to the mother aircraft. Notice the horizon appears to be flat. But the lower picture is when Spaceship 2 reached an altitude of around 280,000 feet. That horizon is not flat. globe confirmed 
Hey, thanks for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Don't forget the like and subscribe buttons down there. Shout out to the patrons and PayPal's. Really appreciate everything you guys do. And I'll catch you on the next one.